Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are super excited for this highly requested video today. We are back reacting to 17. Some more 17. You guys saw us gush over them last time. Yeah. So this is in my room. It looks like a Rolling Stone performance. So yeah. it's a cool little acoustic-y setup. Well, let's get started. Hey, we're the vocal unit from the band 17. I'm Joshua. I'm DK. I'm Ozzy. I'm Jonghan. I'm Seungwan. And today we'll be performing a song called Pinwheel. Uh, this is a song that I wrote. I was inspired by a dream I had one night. Yeah. The lyrics are about longing for someone you can't meet anymore. We hope you receive comfort from it. Pinwheel was part of our Before All One project in 2017. Please enjoy this 2021 version. Music, cue. What are your first thoughts? I was gonna compare voices. See, I love that too. I um I think the best time to do that was like right at the beginning. I don't know. These two guys yeah. sang individually. Jung An and Sung Wan, mm -hmm. I think. Is, I think I yeah, well, Sung Wan, I yes. think was how I said how he said it. Um sang back to back and then DK sang. Mm -hmm. And if you, guys, you all saw the first one about how we feel about we DK, love DK, we still very much feel that way. I was even just going to compare DK to um, Joshua. Okay. Is that his name? Yeah. His name is Joshua, so. right? I think so. Just for right now, because I feel like it's just a cool observation to make, right? Like, yeah. This is not a better, worse, good, bad, all of that stuff. There's, none of this is like objective. It's how this people just, do things differently. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, we want to kind of give you guys insight to how we hear things, you know, yeah. as as like teachers and people who kind of appreciate the technical side of stuff. And singers ourselves. Absolutely. And singers ourselves. Like we want to kind of um, enlighten you. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay. So I have this uh, software. It's called Uni Converter. Mm -hmm. And you can pull in the audio from this and it just takes out the voice. Oh, that's awesome. So you can, you can get rid of all like the background stuff going on and just listen to the voices. That'd be it's really not cool. perfect. So it's, yeah. it's got some, it's got some other noises coming on around mm -hmm. it, but it's super easy. So I, all I did was I took the sound file, yeah. dragged and dropped it into uni converter, mm -hmm. it converted it. It gave me the background tracks, So all the music oh. without the voice. So I so could, you could do sing it like the, karaoke tracks. Exactly. Or I can just take the, uh, the vocals, vocal line, which is super helpful. Let's super do it. helpful. Let's listen to it. Okay. 
대자리 말 없이 기다릴 뿐인데 so i know that obviously like the recording adds a little bit of an effect but well and if if you've ever tried to do any of that kind of stuff and mm. you and you don't actually have their individual like mic recordings it's not that's perfect, absolutely exactly. impossible right it's not a perfect like, science so they use an ai mm -hmm. and it's and it's actually amazing there's absolutely. a lot of wonderful softwares out and yeah. out right now and i think unique converter is pretty cool no absolutely so i think the thing that that helped us hear a little bit clearer was how dk's voice has a pretty like round and full and like complete sound to mm -hmm. it versus Joshua who has a little bit of like a breathy tone to it. Yeah. Now I wouldn't say it's good or bad, but it is interesting to hear them side by side because that's one of the reasons why we love DK's voice so much 100%. is that it has that clarity. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a resonance that I think is so pleasing to our ear and it's how we strive to sing. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You can add breathiness as a, as a, um, effect, effect exactly, yeah. which could be what's happening. But I think to hear it side by side is really important because then you really can tell the difference. And like, that's what we're talking about a lot. Of well, the time. and that's why I like these isolated vocals is because it helps me really focus on the thing I want to listen to. Mm. Um, we actually just used one of the tools here today, but they have a bunch of stuff that is absolutely amazing for creators. So if you're interested, check out the links below. Let's jump back into the video. <laughs> is so interesting yeah i feel like he has such a like he's got a really nice timbre it's yeah. like rich um but he still also has some like breathiness yeah so it's it's a unique sound and i think that's probably just a preference thing mm -hmm. for us i mean we we always kind of strive for clarity and efficiency and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff but i was gonna say this with joshua that the breathy kind of quality really blends well with the music oh, it you know it's, it's yeah. really nice together and it's not to say that dk doesn't no it's no. just to say that you know and this is why we always say mm -hmm. it's not a good or bad conversation mm -hmm. it's a it's it is what it is right. you know we're just describing what what people are going and i think anybody that listens to groups of singers has a favorite yeah right yeah <laughs> and so i believe his name is sung mm -hmm. and um and I think he had some really nice moments of clarity. Oh, for sure. But um, it's a lot of this singing. You know, mm. it's kind of like R&B, like yeah. um, that kind of style. In uh, the, was it a Killing Voice that we watched? Right? Yeah. He was more like powery, belty, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I just remember yeah. like he was one of those, oh, I like that. Like yeah. he's got, Especially when I was he got impressed. After it. Yeah. DK is my favorite. I'm sorry. He's so good. He's so good. When he sings, it's like, I said this before, but it's like an instrument. Like yeah. it sounds like, like perfect is the wrong word. And it's different. I mean. It just, it stands out. Yeah. It stands out. That's And that's what I mean. It's, it's, he's different than everybody else. <coughs> I don't know. It's, it's my Without vibe a, for sure. 100% my vibe. One of the things I stopped because this is a great angle to see all of the musculature and his chin and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, whenever you see a lot of this, you know, it's not just double chin mm. like I have. Um, <laughs> that's actually your tongue. It's often pushing down and sending things all the way back into the back mm. of your throat, which is not helpful for mm -hmm. efficient singing. So, it is one of the most common places to hold tension, though, too. 100%. As a singer, is your tongue, and I'm guilty of it. Guilty so as well. So guilty. Also guilty. Yep. So let's go back a moment. I just want to watch. Just, just watch how easy this is for him. Mm -hmm. 
So he's doing that pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And what's working hard is air. What's working hard all the time is air. So work hard here. Work hard in your belly. Don't work hard here. Right. He's the only one that's sitting with great posture. Ooh, but I also want to stop. Let's listen to that one again. So he has the same, I think, clarity, Mm -hmm. but he gets it a different way. It's like very much like, Mm. uh, uh, Uh it's not, uh, it's not that kind of, um, easy free it's a little bit pushed there's um, a little bit of pushing yeah. yeah and it's it sounds wonderful and it's amazing and it still has that that bite that that clarity that mm-hmm. we like um but he's going at it a completely different way that's and a really good point i think it's a little more set back there's more effort yeah, yeah a little more set back a little more effort um but yeah it's i'm here for it so mm-hmm. sounds good <laughs> Okay, let's go. I think he's got a really cool voice. 100%. And he goes, we talk about this a lot of time, but like he goes from like rapping and speaking to singing like yeah. seamlessly, flawlessly. So it's literally just adding pitch to adding his air. voice yeah. and i think it's really nice yeah. like i think he's a really lovely yeah. voice yeah i was also thinking that too that he's the way he kind of creates space yeah. and how he's saying stuff is is cool it, it is sounds, cool and it sounds good yeah it's i think it's really pleasant to yeah see. i think that um if you were to try to do that you might get tired because maybe it's a lot of don't it's That's it's true intended to kind of sound a little bit bigger yeah. and a little bit heavier um and so you know when we always talk about efficiency and all that kind of stuff that's not an efficient sound but mm. i i don't think that that that's what this is about you know this right. is this is about you know rapping and yeah, i think yeah, you're yeah. right that he kind of goes into singing stuff totally yeah. seamlessly yeah um it's yeah it's which is like an exercise that we do sometimes 100 you know yeah it's awesome that's cool so he's got a little bit stuck in charm i think there's a little bit yeah. it's it's even more breathy mm-hmm. and, and a little bit more. Ah, yeah. Ah. I think he's really adding that though. He's, yeah. I, well, it feels a little bit like he's kind of like putting on a, an effect, you know? Totally. Yeah. Well, I think it matches the song for exactly. sure. Exactly. But... And it's stylistic, I think, too. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. But this is also why I think we, we just love DK. Love DK. And, uh, and Sang Wan, I think, is amazing I as well. I think so too. But um, if we had to like do like first, second, you know, first, second, third. But this is also 
one hundred percent our total bias opinions. and opinions. Absolutely. Um, yes, we are Just voice teachers, but that on the also <laughs> that also means that we have things that we like and reasons why we like it are not the same reasons other people like stuff. Absolutely. Like for me to say I love a voice because it's so efficient. Is it's not everyone's not the opinion. same deal as somebody who's like, well, I just thought it, I just sounded, think it good. sounded good. Yeah, it's just my favorite to listen to. Um, That's and guess valid. what? Both are valid. <laughs> Even my fair. super nerdy reason of, oh, it's so it's so efficient. So oh my gosh, perfect. you could do that all day. Crazy. Oh my gosh, so good. Nerds. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are the performance unit from the group 17. I'm Hoshi. I'm Jun. I'm Dino. I'm D8. We will perform Diririapa. It's about waiting for someone you love. We hope you enjoy. We are revealing this version for the first time. Here we go. Tough to find a place to, place stop, to stop there. Stop. There's a lot going on. Wow. Should we rewind? Because I, I kind of want to take each of their voices individually. I kind of do too. Cool. Okay. I feel like the first gentleman that sang... Um, I noticed a little bit of like wapple. Mm. Um, that could be nerves. That could be so many things. Could be the could chair be he's sitting in, honestly. It could be the chair. I, I, I looked at that chair and I was like, oh, that's a mm. tough one to sing in. To sing in, right. Like, um, So I noticed a little bit of that and that, you know, just an observation. And then um, who just sang right now, the best way I can describe his voice is it's lovely. Like he has a lovely oh, yeah. sound. Was, that's what I was going to say. It's really just lovely and light. Nice. I feel though like his air is like hovering i don't know it's hard to describe what i'm hearing I, I would i would say something i say in my lessons is sometimes people sit on their air instead yes. of sending it all the way through i would agree and i think that he's he's doing that a little bit i think you know that could be a function of like this section of the song totally. like he's trying it's to keep it super it. light yeah. but you know i kind of get that too i think yeah. that that can lead to that wobble you were talking about earlier mm -hmm. with the, with the first guy, um, you know where because you're not sending your air, mm. it's um, not going to be as consistently flowing. Absolutely. So, but I think yeah, you're right. It's just it's a love. Voice. It's really cool. <clears throat> Let's talk about the next. The next. Guy. I know. I'm excited. So, that's a little bit. 
Concerning, I a would little say. bit, a little bit concerning, and we, you know, we get roasted for this kind of stuff all the time Absolutely. because we say, um, you know, stuff. It's not. We don't think things sound bad. We, you know, bad or good doesn't matter. That's right. all perspectives. What we're hearing is, I'm not hearing his vocal folds close all yeah. the way, yeah. which means that they're. Um, you know, they go like this, you do it with your hands. Yeah. If, uh, if you don't know, our vocal folds are two flaps of skin and they just go like this and they go, Mm -hmm. and they buzz like your lips would buzz. Um, and when they come all the way together, you get that really clear tone that we like with DK so much. Um, when you're hearing breathiness and a lot of air escaping, it means they're not coming together all the way. Mm -hmm. That's what we talk about with efficiency. When something's not working the way it usually should, it's usually very inefficient. Right. You're going to get tired a lot faster. Exactly. Also, you're going to get a lot, you know, you could have legitimate singing issues. Vocal issues. Vocal issues. You get nodules. You yes. could have a burst blood vessel, especially when you're a professional who is on singing tour a lot. singing all the time. Yep. Now, I think one of the things that we will talk about is this is the beginning of the song. So it could be dynamics. Yeah. Could be nerves. Could be, Sick. you know. Could be there's a lot of, of reasons that you can sing like that that aren't necessarily how you sing in general. So sure. I'm excited to hear him later. That's also really high and like na, 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 na. you know yeah. what I mean. It is higher, um, yeah. but I think like that's we we hear it to be a little undersupported. Sure. Well, yeah, and I just don't I I don't know if I would call it undersupported as much as like whenever I squeeze and really try to get out mm. in my falsetto or head voice, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's when I start getting really breath, breathy and, and start, um, getting a lot of fatigue, like mm. getting really tired. Right. Um, and so, you know, we're not throwing shade. We're no. just talking about what we're hearing. Totally. Cool. <laughs> That one sounded love, way better. I love the um the that they're singing together. Oh yeah. I think that's probably so beautiful. You guys can definitely tell us, but that's probably what the performance unit does. Is like harmonies. Yeah. Because like they never sang together. I wouldn't know. In the vocal unit. I wouldn't unit. say never. They they were harmonizing. Not like but that not though. All, not all Like this four seems of them very harmony. like. Yeah. Like vocal group. And I'm yeah. really digging it. I totally. think they sound very good. And when they sing in unison, they sound like one voice. Well, the guy all the way on the left went up to that same spot and it was a lot a little, less breathy. Mm, for sure. You know, it still had, had a lot of that air escaping, mm. but I think it was less breathy. I think it was. Um, bit more efficient and i think yeah. you're right i mean I, that could be because it's a louder part because yeah. it's not so exposed and intimate all that right right, stuff. right this guy's voice is blowing my mind because i keep thinking he's gonna <laughs> sing out of tune and then he doesn't why do you feel like he's gonna sing because the melody is bizarre yeah. and he's like hitting it and i'm like it just isn't what i expect it to be sure it feels like really all over the place and every time he's it would like, be tough to sing i think yeah 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 so in the it navig he has to navigate a weird part of a range, I think is what it is. I want to oh, listen to okay, it again. Okay, okay. I feel like he navigates it, and I'm always like, oh, he's gonna like flip or whatever, and I feel like he just goes right into it. It's almost okay. like he's running and jumping. <laughs> So you you mean like when he does runs up like 
up like that. You think he's going to flip and he just kind of lightens up and he passes through his... He his, passes uh, through his passaggio his, his and his break. Yeah. I feel like he passes through his break in a really nice way. Yeah, it was pretty seamless. I would yeah. agree. Thank you, Rolling Stone. Bye. Bye. That was a really cool song. That was awesome. That was cool. I really mm-hmm. loved getting to hear each individual group and kind of understanding yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Um, with how they're kind of laid out and, and, and how they do it all together. And then they function as a whole. Exactly. And like yeah. It was yeah. kind of neat. Super cool. Really cool. Well, I think it's still official. DK's our favorite. I'm of sorry. course. Of course. Of course. Sorry, not sorry, but also Hashtag like. Sorry, not sorry. I don't think we're the only ones who feel that way. Yeah. Based on the comments. Yeah. Y'all love him. Yeah. Because he's it's true. odd to love. Yeah. Well, we hope you liked that video and we hope you got something from it that you can take to your own singing. Yes. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, maybe hit that subscribe button and see what happens. It's going to be fun. We post new videos every week. And we are Chase Malia. We'll see you soon. <laughs>